This is my mom's lasagna. Yum. This is, was essentially on our table every Sunday. So she makes a basic meat sauce. So she starts out, she has, you know, pork neck bones, spicy Italian sausage, um, a little bit of veal and a little bit of beef, right. and an onion. Your standard regulation. Browns the whole thing up. Right. Once it's browned up, she puts in a can of whole peeled tomato sauces. We like San Marzano in my house, but yep. find the best one that you can. A good pinch of salt, a pepper. good cracked black pepper, and a bay leaf. And you just give this a whirl, and you just let it cook until all those flavors kind of meld together, and it is delicious. And of course, have you been oh, drinking our wine? What is a couple glugs of wine? Once this cooks for a couple hours, you know, it's just like a, you know, basic. It makes it's, the it's house not a smell bouillonnaise, great, but it's know? just a meat sauce, you know. Your basic Sunday meat sauce, and then of course you take the bones out and the bay leaf, and you're left with this delicious reduction, this serious, right. serious Thick meat, meat sauce. sauce. Right. And if you are my father and I, you fight over who is eating those meat bones, Right, you, you, know? you fight over who's literally gonna sit and suck and gnaw on the bones like a dog at the table. Exactly. Because they're delicious. So then, heavily salted water, in the words of Mario Batali, make sure it tastes like the sea. We're gonna cook the lasagna noodles a couple minutes under what the package says, and then we move down and start putting our, the rest of our sauce You together. want me to stir some eggs into yeah. your ricotta? So we have ricotta, <laughs> we have the two eggs. And so, herbs boom, yep, in. in the pool. <laughs> Little chiffonata basil in the pool, and then salt, pepper, and E-V-O-O. -O. You got it, baby. I learned that from you, Rach. E-V-O-O. -O. The rest of us have been saying extra great... virgin olive oil our whole life. It's such a pain My in the My great contribution to society. Now, a good yeah. trick at home, and this is, you know, one good thing about having a mom that's a good cook is you learn some tricks along the way. Yeah. So one of the things that my mom always did is after she made that ricotta mixture so she didn't have to fight with it, she would put it in a, a plastic zip bag or a yeah, piping and bag, that, and, and then the she could just off, whip through right. it and make it so just quick. Go boom, boom, boom. Right. So I put a little bit of that meat sauce on the bottom, and then we do a layer of the noodles. And then, Rach, if you want to come in with either the meat sauce or the cheese, Dealer's choice. Dealer's choice. And then you just Woo. rip it across. Yeah. And then it ends up going in there nice and even, too. So everybody wins. And then you just go with another layer of the meat sauce and another layer of noodles. And you just build, build your lasagna. I went a little heavy on That's the cheese, okay. as you can see. We, we're not shy. So, and then you just keep building yeah, it up. Yeah, of course. You keep going back and right. forth. Everybody and back knows and forth. how to do this part. And we have one over here that we've built all the way up. And what we did with this is my mom, you know, this was harder to find in Cleveland when I grew up, fresh mozzarella. Now you can get it literally everywhere. Now you can get it anywhere. Right, right, right. So we used to use, not the fancy, the, we used to use regular mozzarella right, when I like grew up. Like a brick of polio yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Now she uses the fresh mozzarella because she could find it. So you just grate fresh mozzarella on top and then and you gotta literally have a little bit of parm, a good amount of parm. Oh my God, Michael. What I like on. to do is, and what my mom did, is she'll oh. either start it with a little bit of foil over top,